Hello friends, welcome to Knowledge India once again. In this particular short tutorial, I'm going to quickly explain you that how can you use a jump box? How do you go ahead and forward your key so that you can go ahead and use a private EC2 instance without storing the key on your Bastion host or jump box? So as you can see on the screen, I have got a private instance which has no public IP of course, only private IP and I've got a public EC2 which has a public uh, IP and a private IP, both of those, right? So what I'm gonna do is I will go ahead and show you three things. Number one, how to correctly convert a PEM file to PPK, right? Many times we do mistake in that. Second is how can you go ahead and forward the key of your private instance right from your laptop using pagent? And third is, of course, how do you connect using putty? What should you do in putty in order to you in order to forward the key? So these three things I'm going to explain you. Uh, I suppose you already know that how to launch an instance. I have a video about it already. So once you have launched, an inst launched the instance, you will have the PEM file downloaded for your EC2 instance. The second, the next step is that you have to go ahead and convert this PEM file to PPK in case you are trying to connect from your Windows uh, laptop. If you do, if you use Mac, then you can go ahead and use PEM itself. But I wanted to explain this because a lot of people do use Windows machine. So I'll 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 show you how can you go ahead and convert it to convert your PEM file to PPK. So you need to uh, first of all uh, use this tool called PuttyGen. Uh, right? You can download it free from uh, from Putty website. So you can just open puttygen.exe. You don't even need to install it. When you uh, do that, you have to first press on load. Uh, you can go ahead and choose the PEM file first. So as you can see, all PPKs are being shown. You can say all files, and then you will be able to choose the PEM file. So you can choose any of the PEM files. There are many PEM files. So for example, I can go ahead and say v21.pem. Also open. So it will get imported. I have to just say OK and you can see RSA is selected here. So I'll just leave it as it is. Below the load, you have save private key. So you need to press on save private key. Say whether you want to give an additional passphrase. If, if so, you can give it or if you don't want, just go without it. Say yes and it will allow you to give name uh, for your for your PPK file, which you can go ahead and type in this text box and just say save. So your PPK file will get saved in whichever location you want. Okay, so that's the process of converting from PEM to PPK first of all. So please see this in case you don't have latest protegen, you can download and it should be the RSA should be selected. Once again, load and save private key. All right, second step is how to forward the key. So I'm, what I'm gonna do is from my laptop, I'm going to first log into this public machine, which has a public IP. And from this public uh, EC2, I will log into this next one, which is a private machine, okay? Now, I do not want to save my PPK or PEM file on this public machine. Rather, I will just forward it. So in order to do that, you need to have a software called pagent. This also you can get from, uh, from Putty website. So I already have a pagent. Let me show you. Uh, if you if you run pagent, you will see this type of thing. So you can go ahead and add keys here. Let me just remove this. So remember, in pagent, you will add the key which you want to forward. So in this case, I want to forward the key of my private instance, right? So I will go ahead and select the key. I'll say add key. And I can go ahead and select, let's say, v21. If suppose v21 is the key, uh, which is there for private instance. So I'm, I have added it. I'll just say close. That's it. So that's the step one. Second step is you have to take care when you are doing the connectivity via putty. So let me go ahead and launch putty. Okay. All right. So in this, I need to, because I'm connecting to the public instance, I'll just pick the IP address of this public machine. And I'm going to paste it here. And then I need to go to SSH and auth. In this, I need to go ahead and choose the key for this public machine, right? So here in this browse, I will choose the key for the public machine, the machine to which I'm trying to log into. So actually in this case, the same key is being used. So I'm just gonna choose uh, V21. 
So, and remember, you also need to check this allow agent forwarding. This is very important. So you need to say allow agent forwarding. So with this tick or with this checkbox, what is happening? Whatever key is there in the P agent that gets forwarded as part of the session. That's the important thing. Just go ahead and say open and uh, you know you would be able to log into the machine give the username and you get inside the public machine you can see this is the 10.0.0.45 this is the public machine the machine which has public ip this is the private ip of that public machine that's what i'm seeing now from here if i if i want to connect to the connect to the private instance all i need to do is ssh ec2 hyphen user which is username at the rate, I need to put the private IP of private machine. So let me pick this 10.0.0.9, 10.0.0.9, and I need to just say enter. Please see, I'm not passing the location of key file at all, and I have not saved the key file on the Bastion host or on the gem box. I have not saved it. It is just forwarded as part of the session. Once I close this putty session, it is just gone. So it is secure. Please do it this way. I'll just go ahead and say enter, and you can see. I got inside the private machine. Now I can go ahead and do whatever I want. So that was just a quick video to let you know that how to use PAGENT. Uh, you know, in, in the earlier EC2 video, I've already shown you that how can you uh, use Jumpbox in case of Windows. In case of Windows, it is it is very simple. You have to just do remote desktop connectiv connectivity, right? So you do MSTSC and you put the username and password. That's a lot simpler, but many times people get confused at how to forward the key using PAGENT. So that's what I wanted to explain you in this short video. Oh, I hope this is helpful. If so, please share it with your friends and always use key-based authentication because that's industry standard. That's what uh, everybody like and that is considered more secure uh, compared to the password-based thing. So, all right, guys, I'll see you again in the next video. Please do like this video and share it with your friends. Thanks you. Thank you. Bye-bye. You are watching this video on Knowledge India. We request you to subscribe to our channel and press this bell icon so that you can get updates regarding all our upcoming videos. You can also go ahead and look at our playlists where you can find different videos related to certifications. If you have any query or request, go ahead and post it at the community tab. Thanks for watching. See you.